Hello guys, welcome to Startup Tutorials. So in the last session we have discussed about RCC building, dealing with the design of beams and columns. So in today's session we'll be doing about wind load analysis. So initially begin Startup Pro. Select new project, give it a space, give whatever name you require. Let the units be meter and kilonewtons. Select add beam option. Now you just convert it to front view. So we will initially start by creating a 3D frame. So let us go to geometry run structural wizard frame models bay frame double click it give length as 20 height 24 width 20 number of base 5 here it will be 6 here it will be 5 apply so you can see this is the RCC frame that we will be discussing in today's session. So transfer this model to the Shroud Pro screen. Click OK. You can view it in 3D view. Switch off the grid by switching off the snap node beam. So initially we will begin by giving Initially, we'll begin by giving the sizes. So, define rectangle property 0 0.45 by 0 0.3. Material is concrete. Add, close. Select the particular size and select the entire structure assigned to the whole structure. Now we go to supports. We convert the figure to the front view and create support which is fixed support and we give add select the fixed support and assign to all the bottom nodes. So it gets assigned to the whole structure. Now we go to loads. We select load case details select add give the number one load as dead load and loading type will be dead add give the second load as live load and loading type will be live add give the third load as wind load in x x positive direction set loading type as wind now select fourth load as wind load in x negative direction and select fifth load as wind load in z positive direction and select sixth load as wind load in negative z direction finally after adding all this load we assign the dead loads select dead load select add first we give self self weight load add next we give member load which is minus 6 kilo newton per meter in global y direction then we give floor load which would be minus 4 for 9 inches wall and minus 2 for 4 and half inches wall and minus one for 
paraffin wall so we give minus 4 we'll define the range from 4 to 24 since the dis distance between each story is 4 meters so we'll begin our floor load at first floor and it will end at 6th at the bottom which will be total 24 meters in global y direction add class now we defined live load which is just floor load minus 2 from 4 to 24 meters then coming to wind load x positive select wind load but we, we are unable to do it because we have not defined the definition for the wind load so we initially assign the loads dead load and live load to the structure and later we will be defining wind load so this uniformly distributed load will be for beams parallel to x and y direction so just select the load and select beams parallel to x direction and beams parallel to z direction and now assign to the selected beams this finishes the dead load and also live load as the floor load is assigned itself as you can see it now we need to define the wind load so we go to definitions select wind definitions or else you can go to commands loading definitions wind load here we give type 1 wind 1 add close then select the particular wind 1 add we give the intensity as 1.5 as for is codes and the height is given up to the top floor 24 meters you can select the, ca the button to calculate as for ASCE 7 and we can change the data whatever you require we can change into different categories the speed exposure category type of structure whatever it might be chimney tank framework tower building structures then select ok you select add you give the factor as 1 add close you need to assign this factor to the entire structure so select the entire structure sorry you don't need to assign it to the beams and columns but you need to assign it to the nodes so using node cursor you select all the nodes and assign to the selected nodes so it gets assigned now coming to wind load in x positive direction select add select wind load it's type 1 wind word give factor as 1 maximum will be from 4 meters to 24 meters that's it select add close you can see the wind load being applied at all the nodes 
now we need to assign in negative direction so select minus x leave our side wall face will be 4 to 24 you can see it you just need to modify it so select edit select edit you can give the factor as minus 1 and let it be x inward face plus you can see it is in negative x direction now for the same wind load in z positive direction we select add wind load in z windward direction factor will be 1 from 4 to 24 meters add you can view it in positive direction now we go to negative direction wind load factor will be minus 1 since it is in negative direction and the range is 4 to 24 you can view it once the loads are assigned we go to design tab we select the particular code whichever might be before that you select the type of material which is concrete and select the particular type of code which is IS456 now we define some parameters which will be fc it's 20000 kilonewton per meter square for m20 concrete and the fy main that is yield strength of reinforcement will be 415000 kilonewton per meter square for fe415 steel similarly the secondary reinforcement also same as the main we give the ratio to be 3 percentage maximum maximum steel ratio is 3 percentage once we define parameters we go to commands design beam add design column add takeoff add we just need to assign all these factors to the structure so select the particular factor assigned to the selected beam similarly the reinforcement yield strength coming to design beam which is only in x and z direction later column will be only in y direction so once this is finished you can go to analysis and print select add close you can analyze run analysis save so the analysis is carried on it might take some time but once finished you can go to post processing mode to view the deflection for the particular type of loading So in this way we get whatever we need bending moment, shear force, axial force, 
deflection you can go to modeling and check if beams are filled by going to geometry sorry by going to select by specification all failed beams no failed beams so a structure is safe this is the end of the tutorial in next class we'll be discussing the wind load analysis with load combinations thank you